Yeah, first off, first of all, Winnie City Smokeout announced uh, they announced their lineup, and we knew it was going to be good because last year was amazing. Yeah, I, I was uh, I was honestly surprised because, um, not knowing much about the Smokeout before last year. Yeah. Um, I just assumed that you know a festival in Chicago, you know that that gets you know a lot of mainstream kind of press. I was like, oh well, it's just going to have shitty mainstream people. Granted, there are a few. Yeah, but... yeah, but I was like, I, I would have still not even you know, guess that they would have really good yeah. artists be like during the day. Yeah. And then when you sent me the lineup for the day that we did go last year, I'm like, holy shit, this yeah. is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I had high hopes going into this. Yeah. Thing. And then this year, like I was looking through it and of course I texted you that it was announced and I was just looking through it. I was like, Oh, Jamie Lynn Wilson. Awesome. Good to yeah. see her again. Brothers Osborne. Haven't seen mm-hmm. them yet. That's going to be awesome. Yep. And then seeing Turnpike Troubadours, I was just uh, like, holy yeah. shit. Turnpike <laughs> is on is on our like on my if they're within you know how many ever hours like gotta go see them yeah obviously they're i think they're coming to cedar rapids soon and we're probably not going to see them but we're going to see them in the summer so i'm going to come when are they coming to cedar rapids I think it's literally like three weeks oh i was gonna say if it was warm out i'd totally go because yeah, cedar no, rapids like, is a great it's, it's a great Feb- bar hopping city yeah, so no, it's like totally february go. something oh, yeah. um but yeah they're because like turnpike cody jinx whitey morgan they're on my list of like yeah if they're coming close and i haven't like i haven't seen them in a little bit and i don't have plans to see them very <laughs> soon i'm going to that show yeah i don't care where the fuck it is if it's within you know hour and a half two yeah. hours <laughs> i'm also i'm also excited that jamie lynn wilson's coming because yeah, her yeah. can't her her show in iowa city got canceled mm-hmm. which bummed me out because it was gonna be her and jack ingram and i was excited for that one actually speaking off tangent real quick i saw did you see jack, this wasn't in the table of contents did you, <laughs> did you see jack ingram perform tin man he had, i did not he has no. a video of it on youtube and oh. it's actually it's awesome because yeah, obviously he wrote it yeah but, no i'll check it um out. but yeah so this festival it's just if you haven't heard of it, this is your first time listening. Windy City Smokeout. It's just a three day festival in Chicago. They have Friday, Saturday, Sunday concerts, and they're pretty much concerts starting at noon or one or something. They yeah. go all all night, like pretty much up through the night, like a normal concert time. But throughout the festival, it's just all barbecue uh, places, like restaurants from th- from around the country. They bring in, they mm-hmm. have their barbecue for you to try. Yep, and then all these breweries. So it's just amazing beer, amazing barbecue, and then amazing music. Yeah, and, and the thing that really sold me on Windy City Smokeout last year, outside of the obvious great music, beer, and all yeah. that stuff, was they are on the forefront of the festival experience because you can load your fucking oh, credit yeah. card onto your wristband. It's so awesome. And so you <laughs> just put your wrist onto like the iPad-looking thing. Shit. Motherfucker! I had it muted before. Um, so you just, like, pr- place your wrist onto, like, the iPad thing that the person's checking you out wherever you're at, you know, food, barbecue, whatever, yeah. and just put your wrist down, bleep, it charges your card, you don't have to take anything out of your pockets, yeah. you can... You can literally you can leave your double wallet fist your Yeah, you can double fist your beers and never have to worry about fumbling with your wallet and yeah. shit, and I'm like, that is awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, th- so I'm... And, of course, it's during the summer when it's nice out. Yeah, and it's beautiful out. So, yeah. And Chicago is, you know, where we're from, so it's an excuse to go back there, which is nice, well, and get drunk downtown, which is nice. Yeah, I don't mind that part. And expensive. I don't like going downtown, though, but the drunk part, I, I like don't downtown. I don't. I like, I, like, <laughs> I like going to downtown, and then I like leaving shortly after. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll go for the thing, but then I want to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Um, the other concerts that were announced were Tumbleweed, which is yeah. in Kansas City. It's in, it's just outside of Kansas City. Yeah. I mean, they, they say it's Kansas City. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. Um, and that one has Cody Johnson's headlining uh, uh, in front of me. I, uh, I know the ones that I saw that I... That I, I the ones that I saw on the list that I haven't seen before that I got really excited about are Tyler Childers is one. Obviously, I really want to see him. I've I've talked about his album. I don't know how many times on this podcast. It's amazing. A handful. Um, and then Steelwoods, which I also have talked about oh, yeah. a bunch of times on this podcast because I was really obsessed with their album. Uh, so they're amazing. Uh, I'm I'm kind of blanking on a lot of the other artists, but I know that it's pretty just like a pretty solid through and through, you know, collection of artists. You know. Yeah, um, I'm pulling it up right now. And, yeah, Marty Stewart and Robert Earl mm. Keane are the other two headliners. Yep. And then Dale Watson, who we yeah. have talked. We know him. Yeah. Um, Ward Davis, 
Yeah. Shooter Jennings, Ray Wiley Hubbard, Alex Williams, Blake Berglund. Oh, yeah, Blake Berglund was going um, to Eric Dillon, Evan Webb, Jamie Lynn Wilson again. Yeah. <laughs> um, James Carothers? What did I say? Carothers? Carothers? I would say like Carothers, but I don't know. Carothers? I don't know. Mickey LaMancha, who we uh-huh. talked about. Uh, Sarah Morgan, whose CD came out just like two weeks ago or something, and it was amazing. Shane Smith and the Saints. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Tony yeah. Martinez. Oh, and Zephaniah O'Hara. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. that's an amazing lineup. So we're probably c- – can't. is that a Cambo one also? You can camp, yeah. Yeah, so we pro- probably do that one. Yeah. But, um, you can certainly camp. Yeah, that one's – so if we have that in June. We have Windy City in July. Then we have Medicine Stone Medicine in September. September. And then also possibly – uh, Hintland, Hintdale, Hint, Hinterland, 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 something like that. Um, that's in Iowa, outside of Des Moines. So actually, you know, the closest of the, you know, tumble, yeah. tumbleweed, medicine stone, and Hinterland. And Hinterland's kind of got a couple. It's interesting because it's got it's got artists that are like legitimately, but it's got artists announced that are like legitimately like kind of like pop. EDM almost, I think, announced based on the description. Um, to Virtues. Yeah, that, that those people. Uh, but Nate Rate is the one headliner. Nathaniel Rate live in the night sweats, and they're amazing. And then Tyler Childers is another one that's playing. Sturgill. Uh, Sturgill's going to be playing Band there. Horses, Blackberry Smoke. Marvel Blackberry Price. Smoke is another one that I'm really, like, I really want to see them. And then J. Roddy Walston, I like them a lot, too. Joshua Headley. Yes, Josh Headley's. <laughs> and then that night, Wheeler's playing. <laughs> yep, and Wheeler's playing that last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, I feel like my theory is that since the Super Bowl got done, uh, everybody in the world did a giant news dump because they didn't have to worry about their news getting washed away by the Super by Bowl. the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. And so now we have all these things. But then the final festival that's actually like going on right now slash this weekend is. Perfectly timed with our goddamn blizzard that we're dealing blizzard. with. Blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard that we're experiencing, uh, the people are not experiencing it down in Key West at Mile Zero Fest. I've been seeing oh Instagrams and so Twitters jealous. of Jamie Lynn and them down in Key West, and it looks really nice, and I'm really jealous. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, yeah if only to get away from the snow in Iowa. Yeah, just to and be. it's an <laughs> unreal lineup. Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, when they announced that a while, I know we were going to go, we were thinking about, but you were new. You'd probably be busy yeah, with work. Yeah, I honestly probably... And I'm poor. Like, I, I probably could have made it work if I planned it ahead, but I, you know, yeah. I couldn't have known yeah. that far ahead of time. Yeah. But, yeah, so there's so many festivals coming up. We're like country clones right now. Festivals. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing I, I think is hilarious is, is uh, you know, we had that entire festival versus bars, like, podcast topic and I'm oh, yeah. pretty sure my stance was firmly, fuck festivals, why do I even want to go to those? And now I'm like, look at all these festivals I want to go to. Well, but of course, that was at the time, we, the only festivals we had experience with a country and were uh, Country Thunder. Yeah. And so we were saying that we'd rather be in, if you haven't listened to it, it's an old episode, like yeah. way back in the day. But uh, it, we talked about how bars, well, one, they're like closer to the people, you're kind of, it's more... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Like friendly? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's more packed in. You intimate. Get, intimate. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's more intimate. And then festivals. It's you're usually just out in the open with a million other drunk assholes. But with good music, I mean, they're still drunk. But the, yes. like, it's not bro like yeah. uh, country thunder where it's people who don't actually like country music. So that's why they listen to pop country because yeah. it sounds like the rest of the shit they listen to. Yeah, I think part of the reason too that I was so sour on on festivals is like I refuse to believe that there was a festival anywhere that actually had basically a start to finish great lineup. I was just like, no, they're, they're oh, not yeah. going to do it. They, they will Except always for in Texas or like Medicine exactly. Stone. I was like, new I was like, yeah, no, yeah. I was like, but no, it's never going to happen. Where they're going to actually <laughs> give me something I'd want to pay the money to go yeah. to. And now they're just proving me wrong. And I'm yeah. glad they are that. I mean, that being said, they're both great for their own things. So like the festival versus bars, Sorry, it, it said oh. it was an achievement, and it said complete the game on a difficulty, and it was like mind leaping. But I really looked over there, I thought it said mind lesbian, and I got really confused. <laughs> it's probably Wolfenstein, though. Yeah, wait for um, it to come back. I'll point it out again. But uh, 
But yes, yeah, they both have their like perks. Like, well, because bars, you know, you're usually just kind of hammering a bar for a night, and then you go yeah. home, and it's like we said, more intimate. But festivals, you're camping out for three days, and you're enjoying like twenty yeah. artists, and, the, and it's the whole the whole atmosphere of camping out, yeah, as well. Well, that's the thing we've said a hundred times. Also, is Country Thunder itself, the music is has gone severely downhill it's oh, not yeah. even downhill it's in the bottom of the valley especially with them announcing sam hunt this year um it's like the low of the low now but they're in the negative but the thing that i will always love about country thunder is the atmosphere because if you avoid the college drunk kids who are you know just there to be shit faced because they don't like country music <laughs> yeah um like they're they're just getting wasted, but like the friends we've made and like some of the campsites of older people who are there just to have fun, that that atmosphere is amazing. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like the music itself is not ever very good. Yep. 